What's up guys, welcome back and welcome to Reseto Corsa and today guys we're going to be going over to good old Germany to the Hockenheim ring, the Grand Prix version and we're going to be in the Mercedes Benz AMG GTR Black Series let's take a look at what we're going to be dealing with today and there she blows, to wit to woo the great old Mercedes, what a track weapon this is it's got a 4 litre turbocharged V8 and it's running a flat plane crank so it really does like to rev and hopefully if this works what you can do is you can normally you can normally play with the car's parameters but it's obviously broke today but what you can do normally is I've tried to get it working about six or seven times guys and it's just not working it's got active aero anyway and you can really move all the little bits of the aero but it's been I've tried about six times to get it work but Sorry anyway, but what a beauty this is though, let's take a look at the blueprints, there's the blueprints, like I said this has got a, it's got, it's got a turbocharged V8 engine, and it's a bit of a beast, 730 horsepower, wow, let's take a look at the interior then, and if we can click the lights you can see all the, the GPS is working, it's got a 9 way traction control system this, nine way it's, it really does look stunning you can see the rear massive massive rear wing active aero i wish i could have showed you that and all the parts moving but never mind but wow what a beauty this is now these are quite sparse in britain i believe not, not many come in right hand drive at all the, the it's a very very rare car but anyway we're going to give it a whirl I'll see you at the Hockenheim ring. So next time I see you guys, I'll be at the track. Right then, guys, we have arrived. Hope you've got here nice and safely. This is take 22. God, I just, guys, my glasses are all steamed up. I can't see where I'm going. It's a bloody nightmare. But anyway, we're going to roll on. Really going to have to take my time here. But I've clicked on the tyres. Michelin Pilot Sport Cup Alls. So it's quite a sticky tyre. But you can choose the Cup 2. Normal Cup 2. Guys, I'll leave all the links for this car on the track in the description so you can go and give it a whirl yourselves. Right, let's get whirling. Give it a rev. Saucy. Very nice. You hear that turbo whistle. Sing along if you want, guys. You know what's coming. It's Beanage. A bit late to get off the line there. Anyway, but we'll leave the traction control on for a little bit because this car really does work better with the traction control. This has got a nine way traction control system. Let's just take my time. Oh, I can feel the car straight away leaning on the tyres there. Getting the gears all muddled up. But anyway, this I just need to take your time. So I'm there, I've done it again, I've done it again. I keep steaming into them because they're like slow pokes. Lap one, the old lap one on Sims, I don't know what it is, but all Sims seem to have the same problem. They just can't get the AI right. But one, once a couple of laps, like they're actually quite good. But anyway, really revving it out this flat plane crank. It's absolutely screaming. Let's leave it in six seats. I feel like I want to change up, but it just hangs on to the revs. It's, oh, Jackie. Calm yourself. Simmer down, boy. Simmer down. Really lean on the traction control there. But you can see the active air roll working as well. It's got a lot of air roll this car. Really like feel. It feels not far off a JB3 car, dare I see it. But the closest car, what this feels to, from what I've driven, like on a on a game sim, whatever you want to call it, it's it's it feels very much like a like a GT2 RS. It's similar power. It's got 730 horsepower. That's got 700. But this just, I think I prefer this. This has got a much better balance on the throttle. You can really balance it anyway. Great racing we've got going on here. Use the hook the inside line. Oh, quite aggressive on the front lane, I nearly lost it. Oh, that sun's absolutely blinding. Got the time at about 7pm 7, 7 as well, so a little bit of a sunset from the Sol. A little bit of a Sol sunset. Oh, that was nice. Car rotated, lovely as I got back on the power there. You've got, it's all, that's what catches me out though. You've got to break a hell of a lot earlier. If a lot of you have been driving GT3 cars, like you can break like really late on them, but that's what I've got to remember to break a lot earlier. 
but the tyres feel very sticky. What a prick. What a prick. I had a little bit of an EI moment there, but never mind. We'll race them down to the, down to the chicane. Was it a chicane? What a, I'm having a brain fart as usual, but that's normal. Brain farts are normal on this channel. I'm, what, leave it in six, just rev it out and then really lay it on the brakes. Remember, he's on the inside, so I'm going to give him plenty of room. Then peel back, peel that throttle in nicely. Oh, he's still a great race, and this is. <laughs> he's tucked in behind what I think. I, I don't know, I can't tell, I can't see me mirror. Oh, I'll just hide in there, though. Oh, that felt good. That felt really good. Right, use the torque of the motor, see what the torque's like. I probably could have dropped it in the second there, but loads of torque. Loads of torque from that hot V turbocharged beast. Yeah, you can see that active aero working there. Moving forth. Right, guys, the I'll turn the traction control down a couple, couple, couple more clicks. Right, the next lap, I'll turn it off and see, see, see how we get on with it. But if I spin and whatnot, oh, I don't know. But like I said, this car really does work better with the traction control off. I mean, on. Sorry, right there, traction's off. You can see how, how I pushed right straight away there. We'll probably end up going backwards here. But let's turn it off for a lap, see how we'll get on. Tip it in, feel the nose going. Oh, that was nice. Great traction there, actually. Great traction. Nice and early on the brakes. Two. Miss a few. 99 up there. Come back on the power there. It's got like a snap. It's like it's. It, I can't settle it, like where in the traction control on I could lean, lean on the car a hell of a lot more. It just felt like it had a much better balance with it on. It really did. I'll t but I just thought I'd show you what it's like with the traction off for a lap. Nice and early on the brakes. Oh, up the inside. Can we make it stick? Back on the power, but there's that snap. If I had the traction control on, that wouldn't have happened. But it's got... Yeah, with the traction on, it's, it's hard to manage the power and manage that snap, so to say. Oh, up the inside again. <laughs> I thought he was going to take my nose off there. Oh, I've got nice traction there, though. He's up, he's up the inside, I think. I think he is. Where is he? I don't know where he is. I think he's tucked in behind me. Oh, a little bit wide there. Miles wide of the apex. Yeah, guys, the car just works much better with the traction control on. It really does. <laughs> it, it just looks stunning, though, doesn't it? It really does. Right, guys, I'm going to turn the traction control back on. We'll put on level 3, see what that's like. You can see straight away, when I come back on the power, it's just more smoother. Let's go level 5. Let's see if we can make a couple more places up anyway. Yeah, that... That feels much better. I'm not going to say it feels easier, but it just feels like the car's working me a lot better. It's a bit like that Ferrari pista. Oh, Jackie. That was close. That was very close. Oh, look. We've had an accident. We've had an accident. Bloody hell. Hell's bells. <laughs> Let the revving out. Absolutely flat chat. 7,000 RPM. Revving the nuts off it. Right, leave it in six, look. It doesn't redline. It doesn't redline. <laughs> it does not redline. But all the air will be pushing the car in there. I didn't see what speed we're doing, but I know we're fairly more than come back on the power. It's lovely there, but the did have rotated perfect. Not perfect, but watch it. Just chuck it in here. Oh, yes. That was very juicy. Jerky. I thought I'd bollocks the whole lot of big style there. <laughs> On the next lap, guys, I'll totally shut up in case you're good listen to this. The MJ Beast, but I, it, all them, it really does like that pop and hiss. Oh, nice. That was nice. Right. A little bit wide of the apex, but there, just lean on the traction control. Short shift. Bloody hell. Let's put in third gear. Oh, had to power on there to settle the car because it was going to 
in all sorts of shapes. Right guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show flap and let you see out of this the energy piece. Be an edge. See it, this what an absolute treat this is to drive this car. It just looks absolutely stunning, guys. I'll, I will leave all the links for, for this car and the track so you can go and have a tap on it yourself. But I really recommend you try this one, like, really good. But if, if any of you have seen one, the Porsche GT2 RS video around here, that's the closest that this car feels like. It feels very similar in a lot of ways. Like similar power, but it, it just, I, I wouldn't have thought it, but this feels more controllable on the limit. It really does, right? Get the nose in and get on the power so early, so early. You've, you've still got to manage it with the traction control on, but somehow we're in third place here as well. We're doing quite well. Oh, it'd be amazing if we could get first, wouldn't it? Let's send it. Send it. Oh, can we get first? This will be. This will be nuts. I don't think I've ever won a race yet. But I start right to the back, that's why. But the AI is on 97%. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, the car rotated and lovely there. But let's just try. Nah. Get on the power nice and early. See how early I'm on the power there. Short shift into fourth, but. Get on the power. Oh, 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 the last corner's gonna come down now. Third, fourth, come on. Come on, get him over the line. It's gonna be so close. Oh, but what a race that was. Wow, what a pretty race. Hey, I would enjoy watching that, guys. I really would. Guys, if you like the video, please subscribe, you know, for more content that'll be coming. Oh, but I am really rusty, like, I'm not, I'm really pretty rusty, but. If you like the video, drop a thumbs up. Guys, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. I've been the bandit. Yous have been great. Peace from the northeast. Toodles.